book review haven't done one of these in a long time i'm always buying books especially this time of the year doing a lot of reading and study found this book at fox chapel publishing they have several outdoors books and this is um can you read it wooden fishing lures you know i'm always working with wood here uh, for my floats and everything and dad left me a nice batch of cedar and i'd like to take some of that and make some actual lures like topwater lures you know uh you know stuff like that you know I, mean, I have a lathe i have paint i've got an airbrush no reason i can't make my own line of lures and so but i want to learn the way i learn is to just to follow people who've come before see what they've done i, I see a lot of stripes even catfish and they're breaking on the surface they're shad near the surface this time of the year and they're just breaking on the surface i said man i need like a popping lure that i can just put 100 feet behind the boat and just drag it behind the boat making popping sounds just like bursting those bursting shad and i should be able to catch some stripes or some or even some catfish that are breaking or even some uh small uh say small mouth spotted bass that are breaking on the surface no reason i can't see that yes that is a duck pattern that's not for duck hunting it's for catching musky <laughs> right so that's how serious this thing get you know i love catching bluegill and there's no reason i can't use bluegill built make out my own bluegill pattern and start fishing that it's a saltwater fishing lure i know something like that will catch fish in my area right and you got a, a dressed tail well hey that flips right into my fly fishing just put a dressed tail on it probably the easiest one to make would be uh, this one just to show people think I'm crazy about those um, about those lures I make with the big plastic lip on the front look at this bad boy see that big metal lip on the front it's a popping lure designed to sit on the surface and it's designed to plop and 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 waddle and wiggle just like my uh, poly dodgers it's just it's proven concept stuff that I do is old man it's been around a long time and that, that's a good perch imitation. I'd probably do more bluegill. Short, this book, Making Wooden Fishing Lures. Uh, the guy is one of these guys who's been doing this 40, 50, 60 years. And um, he fishes for muskie, pike, even bass. And uh, table of contents, introduction, lure gallery. He goes throughout the history of people. He, has a, he knows a guy who has a big collection of vintage fishing lures and, and he's taken all these pictures of them, you know. You know pages and pages of that uh, getting started tools and stuff that you need chapter two lure step-by-step -step projects surface prop bait surface popper perch crawler uh, saltwater flatfish a floating diving minnow panfish just like crappie and stuff uh, clouds are no I'm sorry minnow chaser uh, floating diving frog uh, sinking wiggler a mallard duck that you saw and a weasel yeah a weasel pattern let's see if we can't find that one that's it right there we show you that isn't that amazing <laughs> weasel pattern weasel fishing pattern isn't that something else bunch of dressed fish hooks you could probably do a mouse pattern that uh, similarly make it much smaller and, and you know i bought this on the chapel publishing website you can buy it there or you can follow the link to my amazon page and and, and i'll get a kickback if you want to help support the channel that way but um, I think I'll be working on this some I'm enjoying this book I'm continuing to read it and I'll glean from it over the course of the coming weeks as I always do almost always this time of the year and wanting to experiment going into the cold weather uh, this is my favorite time of year to fish and so that's what I plan to do uh, what kind of what kind of if you guys tried any wooden lures i'm not talking about the plastic crankbaits but actually wooden lures made either from balsa or i've got popular i've got cedar and of course i know i'm making the the handline reels out of cypress which is a great water wood and so uh, let me know just put comment down below how, how have you used wooden lures uh across your, your fishing in the past see ya